したのここのクリスチャンチャンネルへようこそ This is pretty amazing. I've been playing around with this for about a week now. It is said to have a 95% accuracy in 40 languages and 93 accents. It has offline translation for 8 languages. It has a complimentary 2 year cellular data plan. You heard me right. It actually has a data plan so that when you go overseas, you don't have to connect to any Wi Fi. You are connected via that data plan for two years. It comes together with this device when you purchase it. It also has a back camera and it has this four inch screen, which is very responsive. It would actually make things more easier to navigate and some more cool features that will make translation more convenient. And this is the Fluent Talk T1 handheld translator device, which is a product of Time Kettle. Well, this is pretty convenient to hold and or even fit in your pocket because it's lightweight at only 115 grams and the size is 116.8 by 58.6 by 11.22 millimeter. It also has a 32 gig storage and the screen size is 4.0. So the back camera is 8 megapixel and this device has about three microphones. And dual speakers. It charges via Type C cable and it has a battery capacity of 1500 milliamp hour. You can actually connect via Wi Fi, you can use a nano SIM, or it also has a built in e SIM. So there are like 40 languages and 93 accents, 8 language offline translation, and it has 36 l a n g u a g e of image translation with 75 countries and regions of. Two years free data. You can check the description below for the full list of countries. And inside the box, we have the user manual, we also have the SIM ejector pin, and we have the language translator. It also comes with the Type C to Type A cable plus a lanyard for you to easily carry the device. So, we're gonna check out what are the things that we see here. So, at the side, we have the blue and red button, and there's also a yellow button to wake up the device. The blue and the red button is for one click translation. And on the top, we have some microphones. On the side, it can put the SIM card, and also there is volume buttons. And at the bottom, there's a microphone, there's a Type C port, and also a speaker, plus a place where you can put in the lanyard. They have a good placement for the speakers on the side. There are also some lights on the side every time you press the button, that means it is recording. The language that you are talking and navigating the system is quite responsive, so you'll have more options other than just a regular translation. You'll have your time, you have your date, it's also wallpaper, and you can just easily switch the language from here. You can just like scroll down to change the language. There is the one click translation. That opens it, or you can just press the button on the side to open the one click translation, and you will see the photo translation here as well. It will launch the camera, it will snap a photo, and it will translate the photo. On the left hand side, there is that world clock, but for now, you have two countries that you can set the clock to. Also, have the currency exchange, you can only have two countries that you can set the currency, and also there are like common expressions. These are like presets of、uh, what you normally ask. There's also SOS. I would say this is really, really helpful, this SOS, because you can actually choose which country and then it will display what are the numbers to dial the police, the emergency phone, or the fire department. It will be very convenient for you, especially in case of emergency. You don't have to Google it, you don't have to look it up. And then on the albums, these are the photos that you snapped. It has been translated. You can also ask directions. Chat translation, you can just Press on the play button. You can actually do a chat without pressing any buttons, and from there it would continuously translate. And there's also listening mode that would just press the microphone and it will listen、uh, to the language that's being spoken currently. It comes with a 1.1 inches AMOLED screen. It has a lot of new features that is in here on this、uh, new Mi Band 5. We have 11 sports mode,、uh, there's a 24 hour sleep monitoring with REM tracking. And there's so much more like stress monitoring and so on. There's also an option here for voice memo. It will transcribe whatever you're talking and it's gonna save it as a note in this device. And of course, you won't be carrying your box or user manual, so there is a user guide already inside and there are some settings for the device. I have my friend here, Alex, who speaks Russian because he's Russian and he's gonna help us see if this device is accurate. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Sorry, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Да, конечно. Подскажите, пожалуйста, как пройти к ближайшей станции метро? How do I get to the nearest metro station? 
that's easy. You just all go straight and you'll see the road. Across that will be the train station. Oh, это легко. Все, что вам нужно сделать, это просто идти прямо и через дорогу вы увидите железнодорожную станцию. Спасибо большое. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Alex, when this thing was speaking in Russian, do you understand it very well? Or what are the things that it's translating and what are the things that it's not translating? Неправильно перевел мое имя, но в целом общая суть всегда ясна. Не иногда он интонацию неправильно преподносит на английском, на русском, но в целом это очень крутая штука. So, what do I think about this Fluent Talk T1 handheld translation device? Well, it is very convenient. It's way better than using your phone, uh, take out your phone. Maybe you need to have a Wi Fi, or you need to have a data connection uh, before you can have anything translated. You need something that is more accurate, that is more convenient to use, and which is quite easy for you to access. This would, or having a language translation device, would actually be very, very convenient. I featured a few language translation devices in this channel. This is the best so far uh, device that I've encountered or have used. You can check out the link in the description below and also feel free to ask me some questions. Merci d'avoir regardé et je vous verrai sur la prochaine vidéo.